it's a very loose structure uh which and, and when when it, you know when, so when when we need to make something or create something you you send something off and you see what comes back with it so we, we you know roy sends me some guitar ideas that he's got i send it back to him with all my vocal ideas to bring more shape to it that goes to a drummer and he plays drums on it we listen back and we say oh yeah okay that's that's great and that's a bit less of that maybe and so a couple of tweaks on it um then the bass is a relatively straightforward because the shape of everything is there and now you're looking for contributions which are sort of appropriate because you've got all the bones there and you've got a big map of the song so you're looking for for things that just fit with it now but the keyboard part of it is something that's a bit of a wild card uh, so we uh, we let the guy have free reign and do what he likes because we've got as many tracks as we need in, in Pro Tools to muck about with it um, and he can do a he can do a goth version he can do an R&B version he can do several versions of all kinds of things with keyboards different sounds and we can just pick which bits we like we might hear something he might hear something in the song and we hear it and go wow we never thought of that oh what a great idea yeah great cool we'll, we'll do that that little vibe one of the things that makes kill devil hills is is the keyboards and there's a couple of big church organs and pipe organs on the on the chorus which just lift the thing it's just just turns into this sound that i just to me it just sounds like a cathedral of sound you know and it's it's the guitars it's the chemical wedding sound of the guitars which is a a whole bunch of guitar effects that roy has all daisy chained together um and uh, it's 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 that sound it's the sound of the, the 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 song chemical wedding and it's a very characteristic sound and we we put these big soaring chiming pipe organs in with it and it just beefs beefs things up you know it's astonishing Her chemical wedding was a uh, chemical wedding was an attempt to take all the uh, the, the the heaviness that that was around because there was some it was unquestionable that that guitar sounds had morphed out of all recognition to what was heavy in uh, you know in, in the seventies but they it seemed that people seemed to have almost lost control of the sound that that yes the heaviness was there but but a lot of people had seemed to be unable to make it make them sing make them create tunes and make it become melodic and create anything it, it was easy to be it was easy to be aggressive and and quite frankly boring um it was very difficult to for, it seemed difficult for people to take this new set of sounds that they'd been given almost unlimited access to sound and uh, and control it and so that's what we tried to do with chemical wedding we try to control it and tightly focus it um on on on, on the sounds well we, i think we had quite a lot of success with that and because of that we didn't want to do to repeat the chemical wedding sound on this one but we did want to keep it in our back pocket when we felt it was appropriate because we were pretty proud of it we thought oh, that's a great sounding record i think we we turned out something good there so we'll, we'll keep some links to it i mean kill devil hill is is one that that is obvious has that chemical wedding -y type sound to it and uh but a lot of it is is a fair bit more aggressive than than, than chemical wedding uh particularly the first three or four tracks i'd say the the album starts i mean 
people when people hear it obviously they'll figure it out but the first three four tracks are, are really really heavy wow you know um and then it turns into something and then it slowly turns into this more almost like prog metal thing culminating in tyranny of souls and I, I like that that progression i like that little journey it's nice i think it makes for a nice nice movement of moods I don't, I don't look to other bands as being a source of sound or songs or things like that. I mean, Roy may, I mean, because I think for guitarists it's slightly different because they're always listening, always listening to other bands and other riffs and other sounds and they, they get quite into the technical minutiae of how things are created and things like that. Um, as a singer, I only have, a, I really only have access to my own feelings and stories and words and sounds I make with my with my voice. So I just react to whatever I hear. Um, and uh, so when I hear Roy's interpretation of something, um, then I go, yeah, yeah, that's great. And then somebody says to me, he said, ah, oh, that's got a sort of Slayer vibe to it. I sort of go, is it? Well, I suppose it does a bit, yeah. Oh probably good then isn't it you know I, but but I, I don't think of it in any shape or form that i have to go and try and make a song sound like slayer